I'm back and today's video is all about renter friendly products. I'm going to be sharing five amazing and affordable products that I've used around my rented home. All five of them are super stylish, super affordable and super easy to install or use. They either solve a problem that I had in my rented home because I'm restricted in what I can do or I've used them to add colour and personality to my home so stay tuned to see what they all are. Before I go any further don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I've got so many more interior videos to come and a little comment below wouldn't go amiss either So the first product is self-adhesive tiles. Now not only are these budget friendly, but they come in a huge range of designs and colours. So this is the design of floor tiles that I have in my house. I have them in my bathroom. They are by a company called Floor Pops, who also do wall tiles as well, wall pops. And these were £14 a box really affordable, really budget friendly. So this is what the tiles look like. As you can see, they are fairly thin. On the back is a uh, backing that you peel off to reveal the self-adhesive side. And the amazing thing about these tiles is they are super hard wearing, but they can all be cut by hand. Normally with tiling, you need to use, you know, big hard cutting machines or tile cutters. These can be cut with a simple Stanley knife. All you do is score along the tile with a ruler and and then just bend the tile to snap it really really easy for more detailed shapes if you're laying these in a bathroom for example around a toilet or a sink I tend to make a template with paper and make that fit the shape and then trace the design out on the tile and again just simply cut it with a Stanley knife because it's not too thick at all and you can lay them over existing tiles you can lay them over laminate you can lay them over all sorts I laid them over existing tiles in my bathroom and it is now three and a half years later and they are all still down still looking amazing none of them have lifted up I am so so impressed the amazing thing about these is that they're a great way to add pattern and colour into a bathroom if you've got a rented bathroom that doesn't really have any personality. For me, my whole bathroom was tiled, all the walls and the floor. It makes it very limiting in what you can do. I don't necessarily want to paint my bathroom tiles and so by opting for a nice patterned and coloured floor, I feel like the room has so much more personality now. Product number two is removable or temporary wall stickers. Now wall stickers are an amazing way to add pattern and colour to a wall and the amazing thing is that obviously they're completely removable. Now you can buy these ready made places like Etsy, there are sellers selling some amazing wall stickers which can add huge pattern to the wall or words text, quotes, stripes, all sorts of things. I've linked some of my favourite Etsy removable wall stickers down in the description box but for my room I have a little beauty room and I wanted to add pattern to the wall. I didn't want to use wallpaper because in a rented property I can't and so I opted for removable stickers which I created myself using my smart cutting machine, my Cricut machine. So I use products like these, removable vinyl in loads of different colours designed to go in the Cricut machine and I actually created a leopard print design, it was a custom design that I created, added it into the Cricut design software and I created this amazing pattern out of two colours, black and gold. Once printed out you can simply peel off the stickers and apply them. I actually made a video all about this room transformation here on my YouTube, I shall link it above if you fancy a watch. Now the amazing thing about removable wall stickers is, like I said, they're removable. The great thing is I love that leopard print wall, it was so fun, so funky, but as soon as it maybe wasn't my taste anymore, all I did was simply remove the stickers, peel them off, they didn't damage the wall at all. I would definitely use removable wall stickers again, I loved the way it made that room look really quirky and it had the look of wallpaper but was so simple to remove. Product 
Product number three is window film. So here's a little bit of the window film that I have in the same room I've just talked about, my little beauty room. Now this is a uh, reeded glass design, so popular at the moment. I've also used this in a few of my furniture upcycles. So if you don't know, removable window film is a film that sticks into your window with no adhesive. You simply use a little bit of soapy water. It's amazing stuff and it's totally removable. The great thing about window film is there are so many designs, a bit like the um, self-adhesive floor tiles. There is a huge range of designs from films like this that kind of are clear. You might get like a frosted design or a textured design. These are kind of uh, made for privacy so they can add more privacy to a room. So for example, if you rent a property that's quite overlooked, but you can't hang more curtains, you can't really do anything about the windows, then this kind of film for extra privacy is absolutely Absolutely amazing it still lets light through but you get that kind of privacy from your neighbors but there's also window film that looks like stained glass there's colors there's designs there's patterns you can use just a section of it in your sort of top smaller windows or just a band of it along the bottom there's so many creative ways to use window film and again one of the reasons why I love it is it's such a budget friendly product there's loads of different films you can find them on Amazon if you're here in the UK, I know that Wilco and B&Q, they sell a huge range of the DC Fix window films, which I think are some of the best. This is by a company called Surface Designs. It is a tiny little bit more expensive. It's more of a premium window film, but it is amazing. It's such thick, an amazing quality, like much thicker than the DC Fix, so you do get that sort of better quality for the price, but the finish on this is absolutely amazing. I am going to have a little video showing you how to install this, like how I put it into my beauty room window, which will go into more details about the application process, but simply you use a slightly soapy water, a little bit of a squeegee and some scissors and a knife and that is it. That's the only tool Tools that you need so it's such an easy DIY I think but so so effective and I've linked some of my favorite removable window films down in the description box Number four is a very nifty product and it's one that is fairly new to me but I used it as soon as I discovered it and that is an expandable curtain rod now I can't show you it here because it is actually in my window now so expandable curtain rods are an amazing solution for if you want to hang extra nets, you want to hang blinds or you want to hang any kind of lightweight curtains and your property doesn't allow you to hang up extra curtain rails or anything like that. Again, it's a really affordable product. You can find them in places like Wilco, B&Q and again on Amazon. So they're really simple to install. All you do is buy the rod that suits your window. You need it to be ever so slightly longer than the recess of your window. You expand, twist the rod out just past the opening of the window and then you squeeze it back in using the tension spring into the window alcove and release and it will stay there by tension alone. You can then use this rod to hang um, curtains, things with curtain hooks, or you can thread the rod the whole way through your blind or curtains like I did for mine. I use my tension rod for my IKEA blinds. I took out the plastic rod that was in the original blinds and slid through the tension rod and that's how they hang. Now I will say that for larger opening windows, if you're gonna put your tension rod across quite a wide span you will maybe need to provide some support in the middle I've used a sticky command hook and some fishing wire just to keep the center of my rod up and level but again command hooks they're very renter friendly product and won't cause any damage to your walls you can find these tension rods in loads of different colors on the whole they tend to be quite thin uh, and they are designed for lighter weight curtains but again a brilliant product and such a good invention for us renters and number five is battery lights these little puck lights you'll probably have seen these all over the internet but 
These little things are such a good way of getting around if you want wall mounted lights in your rental property but obviously you can't do any electric rewiring. I had this amazing black metal wall mounted light that I really wanted in my spare room as the bedside light. Now obviously because I rent I can't start rewiring in electrics however my landlord does allow me to make small amendments like drilling holes into the wall so this renter product does require you to do some drilling you do need to be able to put these items up on the wall however the only thing that you'll need to do is make a couple of small holes to hang your wall mounted light and that is it then with one of these nifty battery powered lights which you simply press to turn on a few batteries inside and I glued this up into the underside of my wall mounted light. You can control it with a little remote that it comes with or you can simply press it to turn it on. Such a fabulous idea. And the uses of these little battery lights are endless. You can also add them into a lamp if you don't have any power points nearby but you really love a lamp that you found in a charity shop or it doesn't work anymore, the electrics are defunct. Use one of these battery lights inside. And the other place these work great in a rent is underneath your kitchen cabinets. They usually come with a little self-adhesive pad underneath so you can simply peel it off and stick it to the underside of your kitchen cabinets and that looks fabulous. And you can also find ones that colour change so you could have some funky colours in your kitchen. Definitely an amazing renter friendly product and again you'll find several of my favourites including the ones that I have in my house linked in the description box. And that's it, the five renter friendly products that I have in my home. I would love to know if you've got any in your home or if I've inspired you to try any of these five in your rental property. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I've got so many more interior, renter friendly and DIY videos to come. So stay tuned and thanks so much for watching. Bye.